Okay, we're gonna come into a really nice stretching class today. So be prepared to just completely wind down and allow yourself to fully relax into each of these poses. And if you want to stay in that stretch for longer than I'm uh, guiding you to, if that feels good for your body. Okay, we're gonna to start today standing up in the middle of your mat. Okay, come into your mountain pose. Feet together, hands apart. And just breathe here, closing down the eyes. And starting to arrive here into your practice. Feeling the lightness of the crown of the head lifting up. And then as you work your way down the body, you start to feel the lower body feel heavier and heavier, rooted down with those feet into the floor. Relax the jaw muscles, relax the area behind your eyes. And really feel this breath expanding through the belly as you breathe in. And then the belly falling back on your exhale, if you can, in through your nose and out through the nose. Three more deep breaths here. Okay, you can start to blink open your eyes. Take the feet wide as if we're coming into a goddess squat. So toes facing outside. Big inhale, sweep the hands up, take that gaze up. Exhale, sweep the hands wide and then all the way down to the ground, coming into a really big squat. Maybe you're hanging your head here. And then sweep the hands all the way wide, coming into a stand, gazing up. Exhale, sweep the hands down, bend those knees. Inhale, straighten through the legs, gazing up. One more time, exhale all the way down. Staying here and just shifting that weight through these bent legs, through the feet. Starting to feel those inner thighs waking up. And then turning the toes inwards now into a very gentle wide leg fold. So you can feel free to put the hands down in front of you, keeping those arms straight. Pulling those knees up, thinking about the weight being into the toes so you can get the maximum stretch through those hamstrings. And folding from the hip creases, knees bent absolutely fine. Every inhale, feel like the crown of the head is drawing away from the tailbone. And every exhale, see if you can fold from the hip creases ever so slightly more. Keep pulling those knees up, activating the quads, allowing the hamstrings to lengthen. Final inhale. Exhale, make your way all the way up, back onto those hands again if you weren't already there. Place the left hand directly underneath the face. Big inhale, right hand all the way up into this easy twist. Think about the hips being square, don't allow that left hip to dip down. Draw the shoulder blades together. Maybe you're gazing up. Keep activating those legs. Again, think about that inhale, reaching the hand, and think about that exhale, the left rib cage spinning round to the right. And then exhale, hand all the way down, switching over onto the other side, so right hand underneath the face. Inhale, left hand high. Keep those hips square. Keep those legs active. Exhale, hands both down to the ground now. Final big stretch here, inhale, exhale. And then turn the toes outwards 
and then come back into your goddess squat, hands to the inside of those thighs, and then push that left hand into the left thigh, dipping the left shoulder down, gazing over towards the right. So in this goddess twist, and then moving away to the other side, so dipping that right shoulder down, pushing that right thigh away with the right hand, gazing over to the left. And then just coming through this as naturally as it feels, however quickly, however slowly you want to. Feeling that inner thigh stretch, working the shoulders and the back. Okay, next inhale, spin all the way around so that we're in a low lunge with our left leg forward, right knee down. This is my favorite stretch at the moment, so sorry if you're getting bombarded. So we're in this 90-90 lunge here, so we've got left foot, our ankle and our knee in line, and then we've got our knee and our hip in line with the right side, so this is an amazing hip flexor stretch. Hands onto your hips just for stability, or you can have them up. And then simply what we're going to do is tuck the tailbone under. So squeezing the hip bones up to the face, activating these glutes, and you'll feel a really nice stretch through the hip flexor, so the front of the hip and then the quad as well. Hold this for 30 seconds, release, and then repeat. Really keep those hip bones driving up to your face, tucking that tailbone, almost like thinking that you're coming into that cat pose, that kind of feeling with that lower body. Okay, once you've done three of those, we're going to switch over to the other side. Okay, whilst we're switching over, take this left leg back, tuck the toes into, I'm going to say my second favourite stretch, but usually the number one. Tucking the toes, coming back into our planter stretch, so taking the hip, hips back to the heels, making sure that the toes are spread really widely, and then just allowing yourself to settle in here. Focus on your breath, don't think about this lower body. This is incredible for our posture. We wear strange shoes nowadays. Our shoes are too narrow for our feet. And this means our toes are squashed in towards one another where they're meant to be out, almost like our hands, keeping us stable, helping us with that grip. But now everything else has to. So our ankles, our quads, our knees overcompensate. So this is helping us stretch out those toes again. Count your breath if that's what you need to, to stay relaxed here, stay in the moment. And if this is something that is super, super uncomfortable, I would recommend you do it more. And think about what shoes you're wearing. Stick with it. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Really nice. Come back through your all fours just for a second to allow you to wiggle out those toes. Maybe you even bash them on the ground just to help that blood flow come back into the toes. Okay, so switching over to the other side, right leg forward, think about this 90-90, so right knee and ankle in line, and then the left hip and knee in line. Exactly the same, three of these, tucking the tailbone, holding for 30 seconds.
final round for me. Okay, and then slowly make your way down to the ground, weight coming back. Keeping this right leg long, we're going to cross this left knee up and over so that our knee is dropping down to the ground. So cross this left leg as much over to the right as you can. So we're in this kind of half cow face pose, just our legs. Sitting up tall if you have to sit on a block to keep that nice straighten, um, keep that nice lift of the spine, do so. And then wherever you are, just fold all the way over. Allowing that head to completely release. Might take a couple of breaths for you to get there. Feeling the stretch in the outer hips as well as all down through that back. With every exhale, feel that head being released from the neck even more, coming into even more of a fold. Inhale, really slowly roll all the way up, head being the last thing to come up. And then take this right leg slightly out to the side, more in a diagonal. And then the left leg comes forward so it's parallel to our bodies. Both feet flex still. Inhale, lift out of the tailbone. And then exhale, fold from the hip creases. Don't be tempted to lean forward with the shoulders, lean forward with the chin, keep everything pulling back, trying to be nice and in line all the way from the tailbone up to the crown of the head. Every exhale, see if you can crawl those fingers forward and fold even more, but not compromising that nice straight back. So keeping the shoulder blades drawing together, chin in line with the shoulders. Final inhale and exhale. Inhale, come all the way up. Coming into our 90-90 stretch. So taking this left knee and hip in line, leg straight out to the side, and then taking this right leg straight behind exactly the same. So it's 90-90, okay? Again, you might need a block underneath the left hip if you start to sway over, just to keep you nice and lifted. Now, whilst you're here, sink down to the ground, let those glutes completely release and just think about sitting up tall, keep both feet flexed, just keep checking in with your body. This is an amazing stretch for internal and external rotation of our hips. With every exhale feel yourself sinking further into the ground finding this pose easier and easier. And remember if this internal or external feels really tight, you have got the tools that I have provided for you. Okay, switching everything over to the other side, slowly bringing this right leg forward, left leg extended across the right leg over the left, taking that knee as close to that left thigh as possible, bending up that left bending up that foot towards your body and then folding all the way down here. Again, letting that head completely hang.
with every exhale feel that head released a little bit more inhale slowly come all the way up taking that left leg slightly out to the side right leg in front shin parallel to the body parallel to the front of that mat both feet flexed inhale lift exhale fold thinking about drawing that right knee down to the crown and still flexing through this extended left leg Every exhale, relax even further. And then inhale, come all the way back up. Coming into that 90-90, so taking that left leg behind, setting up so you've got this right hip and knee in line, knee and ankle straight out to the side and then exactly the same with that left leg again block or jumper or cushion underneath that right hip and then just allow yourself to settle in here Feeling both sit bones relaxing into the ground with every exhale as you start to be able to settle into this pose even more. Final inhale, exhale. Coming into your all fours, so just rocking forward. And then some cat cows. Inhale, thinking about that cow coming to the end of that inhale. And exhale, coming to the end of the exhale, full expression of that cat pose. So coming into your own rhythm of your breath for your inhale. And your exhale. One more round. Okay, taking this right leg all the way out to the side so that the foot is planted, toes facing forward, and the ankle is in line with that left knee. Think about grounding through the outside of that right leg, so you're going to need to activate this leg. Pushing the mat away. Now, if this is enough of a stretch for you, stay here. If not, you can walk the hands forward into your puppy pose, so keeping the hips in line with the knees and then sinking that chest down, forehead or chin on the ground. Keep working that outer foot into the ground wherever you are. And try to keep those hips square as much as you can. Remembering to breathe. Inhale, switching over to the other side. Left leg out to the side, toes facing forward. Ankle and knee in line, grounding through the outside of that left foot. Staying here, thinking about strengthening and lengthening the leg or working your way down to your puppy pose. Keeping those hips and knees in line. Good. 
If you're in your puppy pose, think about the chest dropping down to the ground whilst your shoulder blades pull together. Complete passive stretch, so don't think about anything working other than that leg engaging, grounding through the outer edge of that foot. Come all the way up nice and slowly. Coming back into your all fours. Tucking the toes, pushing all the way back into your downward dog. And coming into some spinal waves. Come to the tippy toes of the feet. Really arch through this back like you're coming into cat pose. And then send the weight forward into a plank. Bend the knees, push that weight back through the hands. Straighten up the legs into your downward dog. Tippy toes round through that back, come all the way forward into your plank and then push that weight back, bend the knees into your downward dog. Just do a couple of rounds of these, really feeling that stretch in the back, starting to wake up those legs. Keeping that core engaged by working on that breath, keeping really nice even inhales and exhales. Okay, one more and then hold in your plank. Once you're in your plank, knees up or knees down. And then on your next exhale, use the whole of the exhale to come all the way down to the ground. Don't rush. All the way down to the ground, just resting on one cheek. Allow those arms to lengthen behind you. Inhale, coming up into your sphinx pose. So elbows in line with the shoulders, arms parallel to one another, shoulders width apart, palms facing straight down. Pelvis dropping into the ground, pulling this chest through. Breathing here. Energy driving through the forearms. Keep that chest lifted. Exhale all the way down to the ground again, setting up into your cactus arms, so elbows and shoulders in line, palms straight down in this 90 degree angle. Take the hands slightly forward if you need. Tip your fingers with the right hand, right foot up, spin all the way up and over so that you're resting onto that left ear. Stretching through the front of that left arm and the chest. Exhale all the way back, switching over to the other side. Exhale all the way back to your belly, hands underneath your shoulders, push all the way up and back into your child's pose, whether it's knees together or knees apart, sink the forehead down, hands behind you, 
and just allow yourself to decompress here feeling that lower back having a nice gentle stretch especially if you're in the closed knees feeling this breath expanding through the back and the sides of the ribs that belly hanging down to the ground Keep thinking about those hips sinking down to the heels with every exhale. Feeling more and more comfortable here. And then inhale, roll all the way up, just enough that you need to, to be able to swing these legs all the way around into the front of the mat. And then slowly lower your weight down, completely lying onto your back. Come into a nice big morning stretch, fingers and toes, driving away from one another. And then hug your knees into your chest. Placing the feet back to the ground, crossing this right foot over the left thigh into this reclined pigeon. Staying here and then taking the left hand onto that right ankle and then dropping that right foot down to the left side. And then taking the right hand long, gazing over to the right, driving the right knee away from you. Feel a really nice stretch through that right outer hip. Thinking about grounding through that right shoulder. And make sure that right knee hasn't become soft. You're still driving it away from the body. Inhale all the way up, switching over to the other side. Left leg up and over. Foot is flexed. Right hand onto that left ankle, drop that left foot down to the ground, left arm long, gaze over to the left, drawing that left shoulder to the ground and thinking about the hand and the ankle, two-way motion, so ankle pulling away from the hand, hand pulling into the ankle and then drawing that knee towards the front of the mat for this really nice stretch through the outer Inhale, slowly come all the way back up, hug the knees into the chest one last time. And then come into your Shavasana, closing down the eyes. Feet out wide, hands facing up and just fully relax here. Allow your body to grow heavier and heavier with every exhale. Feeling that belly expanding on the inhale and coming back on the exhale. 
Just checking in to notice if there's any areas of tension you're still holding within your body. And on that exhale, release those so that you can feel that lightness all over. Stay here if you can. If not, start to wiggle the fingers, wiggling the toes. Taking that movement all the way up. And then a big stretch. Bending up the knees, rolling over to one side. And then slowly up to your sitting position again. Hands onto the thighs, palms facing up. Just check in with your body. Notice how relaxed, how calm you feel right now. And know that you can always come back to this feeling just with your breath. Hands at heart center, bow the chin to the chest, thumbs to the third eye. Well done for taking this time to stretch your body, to relax your mind and come back into your breath. It is so important for us to slow down, so a big well done. Whenever you're ready, coming to the end of our class, taking the hands away from the eyes and blinking the eyes open.